The parliamentary audit on the Ministry of Knowledge Economy started on October 5th, lasting for four days. The most controversial issue was the chemical gas leakage in Kumi. We'll tell you more on what kinds of issues were raised during the audit. This year's parliamentary inspection focused on the government's response to gas leakage in the southeastern industrial city of Kumi. Lawmakers criticized the government's failure to promptly evacuate residents following the incident and its decision to resume the operation when security inspections were not concluded. However, some pointed out that the ministry cannot have played a limited role as the incident was not caused by the ministry. Another hotly debated issue was the unprecedented blackout last year. An opposition lawmaker claimed the malfunction in the key energy management system at the Korea Power Exchange caused a power outage in September of last year. Also, some raised an issue that the EMS is incapable of checking the level of energy reserves and the safety of power cable. Experts say if the government does not thoroughly review the energy management system and use it, it can bring a more serious blackout than last year. Lawmakers also expressed concerns over promoting shared growth between large conglomerates and small firms. In particular, they denounced the big firms did not keep their promise to withdraw bakeries in their affiliate retail stores in the bid to protect mom and pop stores. The large firms promised to withdraw bakeries from large supermarkets to allow small retailers and bakery owners to open their own shops here. If such deals were made, it's an act of deception to the people. The Minister of Knowledge Economy expressed regret and said it will prepare measures to protect small bakeries. In addition, lawmakers reviewed R&D management, household electricity prices and overseas natural resources investment.